well, now there's no leaves, so there's no hiding from the sun. <laughs> okay, first we're going to go over the herd and um, potential outcomes to this election. The, hopefully you've been following the herd series. What could possibly happen because the herd is already on high alert? Oh God, there's a predator. What do we do? Hopefully you understand herd dynamics. You've been watching things with cows and horses, you know, basic herd animals, because that will give you an idea of how volatile the situation is. So the elections come. The herd has already been accustomed to, this is really bad. Blue is really bad. I don't really know what to do. They're kind of crazy with their thoughts. The economy is failing. I don't have as much money. The gas prices are way up. They're talking about 25 days of fuel left. What the fuck am I going to do? So, should give you an insight right there. Elections come. What happened? What happened? The same people? They're all still there? No! Heard? Oh, I've got a squirrel and some other wildlife. Squirrel. Anyways, they run. They're going to run stampede. They're going to stampede to any direction. So yeah, think of it this way. The fear is running out of fuel. The opposite direction would be to go get it. They're going to snatch it up as fast as they can, which you're kind of hearing about. People stockpiling. Farmers filling up their fuel tanks with diesel. Uh, truckers filling and topping things off and, and anybody who's got a, a vehicle that runs off a of diesel, they're filling up the jerry cans. So you're starting to see that kind of stuff already because they know, no matter what, who's in there, who's in control, that you can't stop running out of stuff. If, you, if it's not coming in, it runs out no matter who's in charge. And there's going to be some time where there's nothing, even if the good guys are in. And let's not even call them good guys. It's more like watching elites fight elites. And yes, we are the fodder. So anyways, if the blue gets in, just think the opposite direction of everything they're afraid of, the inflation, the food shortages, the fuel fu shortages, all of that, they're gonna start to panic stampede. And it's gonna happen, I would assume, fairly fast. That's what, I, that's what I assume. And when you sit there and you look at herd dynamics, once something like that comes at you, they, they tend to move very quickly. The other part that could happen is it's a red wave. A whole lot of red came in. They're like, oh. And for everybody in like a red area, it's like, oh, good news. Oh, jeez. Oh, good. But for those in a blue area, they're still going to panic. And in that spot you'll see that stampede but it'll be localized they're like oh wow chicago's having some issues shit but then you look over and you see uh i don't know freaking jacksonville florida they're like what shortage we're fine what's going on nah leaves and that's pretty much how it will turn out so, huge stampede. I swear, I think they're just going to wait till the elections and they're going to sit there and freak out. And we don't know how long the elections will be. Because you could have a scenario where somebody accuses somebody of doing something nefarious and then it draws it out for I don't know how long. And, you know, the herd's kind of waiting for a verdict. What's going to happen? I guess it depends on how, you know, how tight it is. <laughs> Who knows? Um... I, I guess I really shouldn't be laughing, but it's kind of like, just grab your popcorn and watch because the herd's going to react. And the people who think that they've created funnels and things of that nature, as I've already explained in the other herd videos, it's not going to work out the way they think. And so it's more like somebody's going to be trampled and it may be a lot of people trampled. It's like, eh. oh, that's really sad. But, you know, we all said get it the fuck out the way, didn't we?